Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In this technical note, I'm going to look at how you can use your ESP32 as a wide ranging voltage measuring device. To begin with, a reminder that the basic analog to digital converter voltage input is VDD, which is 3.3 volts minus a nominal 0.3 volts. So ideally 0 to 3 volts for a linear measurement, but it will actually measure 0 to 3.3 volts. So its basic measurement range is 3.3 volts and there's an expression there float voltage equals analog read on pin 36 divided by 4096 the default resolution times 3.3 volts is a 3.3 volt voltage meter some more reminders that if you on the left hand side if you put into the adc 3.3 volt its range is 0 to 4095 you'll get a reading of 4095 in the middle. If you put in half of that voltage, you'll get approximately half the reading or 2047. Or if, again, if you scale the display output with a value, a range value, you'll get a voltage. So analog read on pin 36 divided by 4096, which is a naught to 4095, forget the numbers times 3.3 will give you a voltage output this case 1.65 volts how do we extend the voltage range we add a voltage divider where v out equals v in times r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and v out should not exceed 3.3 volts which is the maximum input to the analog to digital converter so voltage dividers reduce input voltage to a desired value. So 100 volts down to 3.3 volts. So here I've done the wiring for measurement of a 13.8 volt power supply. And I've chosen the range to be 0 to 15 volts. And using a 100k value for R1 and a 27k for R2. And showing that on the serial monitor you would get a reading of 13.8 volts which is what you'd expect using gpio 36 throughout all of these examples otherwise known as vp or vn which is gpio 39 on most boards so to make the calculation easy it's better to go to an ohm's law calculator um, if you do that and i'll put the link in below enter in this design example enter 15 volts for the voltage source enter 3.3 for the required output voltage and choose any value you like but i tend to use 100k for resistor r1 calculate press the calculate button the answer is 28.205k or 28205 ohms that's an exact value the next problem we come to is that resistors are only sold in what's called preferred value ranges, E63 range typically. So what we need to do is translate the 28205 ohm absolute value to the nearest preferred value. Well, that begins with 27. So we'll use 27k ohms. That's the value we should use, 100k and 27k in our voltage divider. And now we need to do is to compensate in the software for that ratio, which is 28205 over 27K. And then we'll get to, instead of 3.19 volts, we'll get a value of 3.3 volts. And that improves the accuracy of the voltage reading that we're using. So here's a short example of how to do that. So again, voltage equals analog read on pin 36 divided by the resolution. In this case, the default resolution is 4096 multiplied by the voltage range. So we're working out how to make a 0 to 15 volt reading 15 and then compensate for the actual value calculated divided by the preferred value 
so required value divided by the preferred value and that gives you a very a very accurate result so here's some examples for a 0 to 5 volt reading it's 100k and 200k for a 12 volt maximum reading 100k and 39k in both cases with compensating values in the analog read statement so compensating for the preferred value over the actual value and here's a couple more examples for 24 volt maximum input 100k and 16k again compensated and also 100 volts um, noting that when a DC voltage gets above 60 volts it becomes hazardous to the human body so if you're doing this you really should know what you're doing and be very careful about touching any live components so in summary then the default resolution of the ADC channel is 4096 the input impedance of the ADC is approximately 200 kilo ohms, which I determine by applying a fixed input voltage and then gradually increasing the input impedance until the ADC reading had dropped to a half. And so I know that the external and the internal impedance are about the same. It's not a terribly accurate way of measuring imp input impedance, but it gives you an idea of what the input impedance is likely to be so your external circuitry should always be of lower impedance than 200k and indeed most development boards do use values which are lower than 200k compensate for preferred value resistors so to to improve reading accuracy be careful or, or ideally don't measure voltages of more than 60 volts uh, dc unless you you feel safe to do so and also see my tech note 69 for methods that mathematically using a polynomial improve ADC linearity. So the, the ADC is quite linear between 0 and 3 volts. Uh, above 3 volts it tends to become markably non-linear. So what do I mean by non-linear? If you put in 3.1 volts you might get a reading of 3.05 volts. And if you put in a reading of 3.2, you might get a reading of 3.1 and so on. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 